Yo, what is good everybody? What is popping y'all? It is your boy Jonesy and welcome back to another video. It's It's been a minute fam. How are y'all doing? Are y'all good? I hope everything's been going great with y'all. I hope y'all had a wonderful rest of y'all's March. I hope y'all had a great April because it's basically May right now and it's been a month since the last time I uploaded a video and I, I just hope you guys are doing good, man. A lot has changed, man. Specifically, specifically, I have hair now and even more so we're taking a step further. We're starting to splash around in the water you know what i'm talking about <laughs> so a few days ago i celebrated the end of a 30 day challenge that i was doing over on my photography instagram at optic jones go give me a follow if you haven't already the challenge was for me to go out and shoot and upload at least one photo every single day to my instagram for an entire month and the point of the challenge was basically for me to develop as a photographer before i started doing this challenge the last time i had actually really done photography was back in 20 like i literally went on two shoots last year and that was it and i got some really Really, really awesome photos and I'm really excited to share with them with you guys here today so that's what we're gonna be doing in this video we're gonna be going over my top five favorite photos from this 30-day challenge let's get it so this first photo was actually the first photo that I took in the 30-day challenge I was walking around this little nature area that's back behind my apartment complex and I was just walking around looking for stuff to shoot and I came across like this little natural tree tunnel i guess it was i don't know but i was literally just sitting there for a while and i was firing off and taking a few photos and i looked over to my right and i saw like this little branch everything around it was pretty dark but this one specific branch was illuminated with the sunlight and it just looked so cool and i was like dude i have to get a picture of this and so that's what i did this is also just over a month after snow that i hit so the trees were like recovering and they were starting to bloom again but i was definitely very much in my element and i just really love this picture by the way, these are in no particular order. These are just photos that I all really like. The second photo, I was taking this photo out while I was doing Uber. So I was at the top of this hill in like this pretty wealthy neighborhood in Liberty Hill. And it was funny because I was trying to choose between taking a picture of this and this really cool porter potty that was right next to me and i heard a car coming and i was like that would make a really good picture so i had to hurry up and set up my camera and it turned out that it was actually a motorcycle so as soon as the motorcycle passed through frame i was set and i snapped the photo it was even cooler because as soon as i took this photo the dude riding the motorcycle he turned back and like shot me the peace sign it was really funny and this is just a really good reminder of how sometimes the coolest photos end up being the most unexpected photos and i just really like it this next photo is a picture of my dog. Her name is Cindy. She is a mix of a Jack Russell and Rat Terrier. I love this picture because it's literally the epitome of what I've always known my dog to be. Um, she's always, you know, she's got her little ears perked up and when she wants something, she will freaking pester you, bro, and she won't stop. And even as annoying as that is, maybe you can relate to this, there's always a certain comfort in knowing that your dog is always gonna be there, even whenever she's, you know, bugging you for your food and I just really really love that she's 15 now and we've had her ever since she was four um, and so getting to watch her grow over the years and now she's just a little old little thing and that makes me so sad knowing that her time with us is coming to an end but also at the same time knowing that she has lived a very long happy life and this picture just kind of capitalizes all of that for me so I that's why I love this picture this next photo this I love this photo so much so if you know anything about me and just like my history of doing photography you know that I have always loved shooting the sunset and so this was my first time since I started doing photography where I actually got the opportunity to shoot the sunset the thing I love most about this picture is how I was able to get the car right in the middle of that little glow in the middle of the street I love that don't know how I did it timing is just impeccable but that was completely on accident i promise the other thing i love about this picture is how in the original photo there was actually a bunch of wires and stuff that was in the way and i just really hated it and so i actually just in photoshop removed all of that and it took me forever to actually do it i think i did a really good job you can't even tell that there was wires there in the first place and i just i'm really proud of that so this, i love this photo last but not least my favorite picture of this whole challenge is this picture of my friend Josh. Now, Josh, I've known this dude for uh, forever, dude. I'm a I'm a fifth year senior in college right now. I've known this dude ever since like my freshman year 
of high school and he had asked me if he if i wanted to go on a shoot and i was like yeah dude let's just go to the domain so we went there we were there for like we were there for like four hours dude just like taking pictures but i really love this picture specifically because it was my first ever attempt at night photography before i had never really gotten i really didn't know how to work a camera in manual and that's one of the things that i learned over the course of this whole challenge was how to actually you know get my settings right shooting in manual mode getting my shutter speed aperture iso all that good stuff and i'm so proud of this picture because it basically was just the combination of all the skills that i learned throughout my time during photography i really love the lighting of this picture i really love josh's pose that he decided to go with i really love the car in the background you know the lights shining kind of adding some interesting detail to the background but this was just a really really fun day it was just an awesome time with an awesome guy awesome <laughs> Anyways, fam, that's gonna be it for all the pictures. This was a really, really fun process. It was really, really challenging, but it wouldn't be a challenge without a challenge, if that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm really glad I decided to go through it. Like I said, I've developed so much as a photographer. I've developed so much as an artist, I guess. And I'm really excited to see what else I do with photography in the future. And I'm really excited to bring you guys along with me. Anyways, with that being said though, fam, I really appreciate you guys watching this video. Make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know which of these photos was your favorite. I would really love to, I would really love to know. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, thanks again so much for watching this video. Y'all be easy. Stay positive. I'm gonna catch you guys on the flip. Take care, fam. Peace.